All right, let's talk about temperature sensors in the UD truck. Uh, if you own a UD, you've heard that sound, the buzzer sound, that means your coolant's low. Uh, I know we've got a couple people in the forums that are fighting issues with it, so I thought I'd do a quick video on how to jump it out. Uh, just a disclaimer, it's there for a reason. Don't jump it out just so you don't have to hear the buzzer. You need to fix it. Uh, you can get a sensor, I'll post a link below, but you can get a sensor from UD Trucks of Charlotte for uh, less than 100 bucks. I think they're $95, which is expensive. And I'll see if I can find a two-wire magnetic level sensor replacement for less. But uh, replace it, you can jump it off temporarily or you can jump it off to test it. Uh, but don't do it as a permanent fix because it is there for a reason and you will blow up if you run hot. Uh, so I'm going to crank my truck. There's about a 50% chance my warning's going off because I have a slight coolant link somewhere that I haven't been able to locate. So about every third day my buzzer will go off. Uh, so let me get flipped around and we'll crank it up and we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Cold start. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Listen to the sound of my people. So let's look at how to jump that out. I can't flip the cab with one hand, so I'm gonna put you down and we'll get come right back to you. All right, I hope you can hear me okay over the noise of that powerful engine. This is your coolant level sensor. So if the level drops below this point, that's when your buzzer's gonna go off. And as you can see, that's not much. Uh, that's normally about a quart and a half, maybe of coolant. So if I just unplug this, two wire sensor, just unplugged, the devil's bell is still going off. That's a normally open sensor. When it's submerged, it's closed and kills the current. So in order to unplug it, we have to jump it off. I've got just a simple jumper wire I picked up out in the garage. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So it's not perfect, but just for demonstration, jump both sides of the pin. No more devil's bell. No more light. So as a temporary solution only, that's what you do to kill the bell. Hope this helps. 